morning everyone it's Kevin I'm back with another video uh, this is Friday morning and uh, wanted to go over some of the things that we need to do this weekend we're hoping to get done uh, here at the homestead I only have really three good days to do work and that's Friday Saturday and Sunday I really don't like working much on Sunday but sometimes you just have to because there's not enough time in a day but uh, we're getting ready to go out and uh, I got to let Sophie out of the pen and I have to uh, check the chickens. But we've had some issues here on the homestead and if you guys remember, we did the Starlink. You can see the Starlink up here behind me on the house. Well, up there, all them trees up there on the top are right in the way of our Starlink. Uh, we thought what we would do is go up there and cut a bunch of them trees down, but uh, I don't think it's going to help me. Uh, we finally got a, a phone. Julie's phone will do that scan, and no matter how many trees, I'd have to cut clear to the top of the hill and then ask the neighbors to cut theirs too in order to be able to, you know, get a good clear view. So we're going to be moving this satellite uh, today. We ordered 150 foot of cable. We found a spot that we might be able to put it and it's clear down over the hill and it's way, way down over there. You can see way down there, there's a pipe sticking out of the ground. Well, way down in that corner down there, there's a stake. So it's 150 foot of cable we would need and conduit to get it down to there. And it's just a pain, but you know, stuff happens here on the homestead. You, you just gotta deal with it. Uh, it's your problem, you know, so uh, we're gonna get ready to go out here and we're gonna get these chickens out Well, we ain't letting the chickens out. We're letting Sophie out. Sophie's the one we got to let out uh, And check make sure they got water and food But you never know when you go to the coop what you're gonna have cuz Sophie she's gets into mischief and she just She's into everything You can see her in the window here see her she coming down to see me good morning Sophie good morning good morning girl oh and as you can see somebody left a chicken door open that was nice sometimes you look in here and you got chickens everywhere checking Sophie's water she's got water she's got food pull a little bit out and the chickens have plenty of water and plenty of food so I guess we're gonna have to open that door that chicken door didn't open today what's going on here Let's see if we can get this door open for them Oh, wow there it goes all right there they go there they go they definitely want it out come on girls there they go I sure hope I'm not gonna have problems with that door that automatic door now we didn't take the old door off of there. We have the manual door still on there. We can use it if we have to. And we're out here every morning and every night anyhow, so it's not really a big do deal, but I don't know why it didn't open. So, like I said, one of our big projects for this weekend, oh, well, we did get everything to put the potatoes in. Uh, so we were hoping uh, this weekend to get the Starlink uh, just the satellite dish moved uh, temporarily because we ordered the cable and it's going to take a while for it to get in. We'll get it next week sometime. So, But we could probably move it just so we can still download videos uh, onto YouTube and maybe stream a little bit of TV. But another thing we wanted to get done was the potatoes. But I'm looking at the sky and if you look at the sky, it's black. 
Uh, it seems like we're going to get some type of a storm here, not too long, but uh, we do want to get on the potatoes. I got some peat moss. Uh, we're going to be putting potatoes in this bed right here. I got about five pounds of seed potatoes we're going to put in here. We're going to put some peat moss in there, and I got some straw. We want to do some straw. Uh, I got a couple bells of straw. And we're going to get into that later on, how I uh, get my straw. I think you guys will like this, uh, but that's later. Hopefully, we can get that within the next two days, get the potatoes in. But our first thing is, is we got to get this satellite moved because it keeps going out and I don't know how long it's gonna last so when I get started on that we'll get you guys right back in here but we need to get some breakfast get the coffee going and get some breakfast first to do today so we're gonna get something to eat we're gonna start on this uh, Starlink uh, internet we've been having some issues with it so we're gonna try to move a little bit of that but we need to get something to eat first and as you can see we're having a pretty decent sized breakfast um, what's nice about cooking out here is Julie and I both can cook at the same time and we can cook a lot of food at once and it really makes it nice mm -hmm. And uh, if you guys watched some of my videos in the past there, uh, Daryl uh, Stokes, I'd still like to tell him thanks for coming out and visiting us. And uh, I think you're missing out. Maybe you should have stayed a few more days. <laughs> Could have got some more breakfast. <laughs> so we're going to get this, we're going to eat, and we're going to get to work. I'm going to go ahead and start taking this satellite off because we're going to have to move it out into the yard somewhere because no service here. It's about dead. We could stream a little bit. It's taking a long time to load a video. And when we scan the sky, it says we're going to have trouble with everything. So we're going to have to move it out there. I'm going to go ahead and get this unbolted. That beautiful bracket that we built, can't use it no more.
Well, now that I got everything off the roof, the only thing we got to do now is pull the wire back through. Then we're going to be drilling a new hole through the house with a piece of conduit and bring it back out. But we're going to go about midway on the house here so we can get that cable as far as we can out there. Oh, boy. Boy, this attic has sure been a blessing for us. All right, we got our wire out. Now we got to run it all back through all these rafters and get it back down into that bedroom. Okay, I got Julie downstairs pulling that cable down. Just go slow, honey. Okay, we got the dryer out, and I have this big box where the dryer was. And what I'm thinking is, I want to put that conduit inside this box. So I think I'm going to take it right here on the side of where the dryer vent is, and just shoot that hole back through there. That way, it's not going to get in the way of my trim or anything like that. Hopefully, this is going to work out pretty good. But I don't know where it's going to come out outside. That's the problem. I don't want it to be too high. So I think we should go right at the bottom of this hole and hopefully we're good but i'm not going to be 100 percent on this but somebody's got to do it right okay we got some insulation my piece of plastic here grab me a screwdriver up there if you would that must be the outside wall. I don't know if this thing is going to be long enough to reach out there. I'll take it to the tip. Let's see. Okay, let's see. And if I can get it to start through the outside. Again. All right, let's go outside and look and see if we got a hole out there. All this for internet. Yeah. <laughs> you do. We want to make sure we can do your videos. <laughs> All right, let's just look. I'll peek out there and see if I got a hole. Something to start with. Uh oh, it's raining. Yes, you do. Ooh. Oh yeah, Sue. It's raining. Okay. So we'll back off of this one. And we'll go out there. Can you bring the camera out? It's raining. That's okay. You popped out the door. Huh? I don't have any shoes on. That's okay. So we're going to start from this side Ooh. and go back in. Maybe. Maybe. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We got us a hole, Joel. We got us a hole. Right. Oh, don't throw that on the ground. That's Sorry. metal. Ow, and it's hot. Well, yeah. Ow. Then I'm stepping on rocks. Somebody will step on that thing. <coughs> Stay, Sophie. <coughs> All right. Here is our conduit that we will stick right through the wall. And we'll be able to put an elbow on here and go down into the ground right here. So this is going to work out really good. 
Okay, this is the elbow that we're going to be using on this thing. What I'm going to do is slide the elbow on, and I'll slide it into Julie, and she can mark it in there. Go ahead, mark it, Joel. Leave me about a half inch or an inch. Okay, now I'll take this out to the garage. We'll cut it off, and then we'll be able to put it in there and go ahead and slide our wire out temporarily uh, until we can get the new wire. Hopefully, we can keep our internet service. Okay, we have our wire strung in here. It's not permanent yet. Nothing is permanent because we're waiting on the, the wire to come. We have 150 foot of wire coming. We got it set up here plugged in right here above the washing machine I think it's gonna work pretty good I have it out in the yard as far as I could get it and it's starting to rain you see we come through the wall right there I straighten this guy up a little bit so we got it down in the yard as far as we could now we were right here against the house and you can see all the trees uh, I mean I don't think it's much better but it's got to be better than what we had. So we're going to say that we're fairly good right here. I'm going to turn that to the north. Uh, and what's cool about these machines is they do everything pretty much on their own. So it's pretty cool. It's not quite level there. I may go get a board or something. But uh, we'll just leave it there and see what happens. Okay, uh, we have everything hooked up now. Uh, it's not showing us the obstruction map, but I know it's going to be bad, even where it's setting right now. Now, in the near future, when we get this new cable, we're going to be putting in some conduit. We're going to be putting a telephone pole to set this thing on. We're going to do it up as best that we possibly can, so we won't have to mess with it no more. But I'm going to get into more depth on how to you know, figure out whether you want Starlink or not, because... This is a chick, tricky uh, kind of uh, internet because if you have a lot of trees and you're down in a hollow like Julie and I are, uh, it's very hard to get that internet to come in crystal clear without cutting a bunch of trees down. We really didn't want to cut all of our trees down because they give us shade for one, keeps us out of the heat, and it blocks some of the wind uh, on the house, which helps too. But uh, we're going to probably have to cut down a few trees uh, so there's there's a good bit to having that Starlink, and when I got it, I didn't know that I was supposed to get a, a camera phone, and they give you an app, and you can scan for that, and we're going to do that in another video, because we're going to pick the best place to put ours. Uh, there's going to be a lot in this other next video we do with the Starlink. There's going to be a lot there to learn from to help you if you decide you want Starlink, so... We got it on now, and that's one of the projects we wanted to get done uh, this weekend. You know, we got about three days here to get a few things done. I'm not sure if we'll get them potatoes in, but we're hoping. Okay, we're going to end this video. The Starlink is working. Uh, we're able to uh, stream now, download videos. Everything's working fine. It does have some obstructions right now. We're waiting on our cable. Uh, the video is getting a little bit long. We're, you're probably looking at close to 20 minutes on this video. I don't like to make them too long. I don't want to bore you guys to death, but uh, this is what it is is what it is. You know, we try to do our best on these videos. So, uh, listen, I would like to tell everyone thanks for using my Amazon store down there. That's really helping us out a lot, and we see the difference. We can see it. We do appreciate it. I would like to tell everyone thank you for that. And uh, like I said, we're going to... Go ahead and end this video in the next one. We're going to be working on the potatoes. Hopefully we can get these potatoes done. So I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Until next time.